Hi, I am Manjiri Kondevar from Informatica. Today I am going to show how to send emails using Java transformation from Informatica developer. I would give brief introduction followed by download and demo material and actual demo. Informatica 9.1 does not support workflow and notification tasks. This feature is available from 9.5.1 onwards. There is always need to send emails during processing of data. We can achieve the same using Java transformation. The current version of the mapping does not demo how to send attachments, CC and BCC list. But you can always enhance Java code in order to achieve the same. You can download and import the mapping from Informatica community website as seen here. I have already downloaded demo material. You need to import the mapping. To begin with, you need to follow following steps. Import the mapping to the repository. Copy the attached Java libraries. Copy the source file into the server machine. Modify the expression and give correct SMTP server name. Add activation.jar and email.jar to the Java transformation class part. So I would give quickly demo of the same thing. I have already imported mapping at this location. Now let me start with file copy. The file is already present here, which is imported along with the mapping. I want to, my server is running on the Linux walk, so I want to copy the file to the Linux server machine. Tomcat bin source is the location where I am copying email source java text. Let us modify the source file directory here and let us save the changes. In the Java transformation, we need to select correct SMTP server. SMTP server that I have selected here is mail.informatica.com as I am going to use this server in order to send email. In the Java code, if you see Java code, we have imported these jars, mail mail dot jar and the complete code you can view it here and on input of every row we are going to send email we have selected the SMTP server which is connected to Java transformation from this SMTP port The message that we are building here is MIME message. The from address is taken from the from field here. The to address is coming from the to field here. The subject is mapped to the subject port and the text body is taken from the body field here. Finally, the email message is sent. In case of any exception, we would log the error message and this error you can see it in the mapping session log. It is important to give class path of the jars, mail.jar and activation.jar in order to compile Java code. Files are available as activation.zip and mail.zip. You can rename it to activation.jar and mail.jar. So, we need to add the class path. We can remove if there is any predefined class path. Activation.jar is added. Now mail.jar is added. Click OK. Save the mapping. 
Now we need to compile Java code. I have already compiled the Java code. This is why it is grayed out. But let us compile it once again. The compile button is enabled. We need to compile Java code. There should not be any problems here. In case of problems, errors will be noted here. So we are all set to send the email using Java transformation. You can validate the mapping. Mapping is valid. And now run the mapping in order to send email. Mapping has run successfully. We can see it here. We can see the mapping session log as well. The mapping session log should not have any errors. And you would receive the email. The destination address that we have specified in the source file would receive email here. Receiver at the rate informatica.com. And with this, the demo is over. You can always download demo material. You can subscribe to YouTube channel and you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you for attending the demo. Thank you.